Hey, what's going on guys? Got a real quick potato cam video explaining how the anti-recoil works and why there are no just load it and go preset values. So the Cronus works by running macros through the controller. Basically when you press a button, the Cronus sees what button you press and then it tells the console you really pressed this. So rapid fire works by you squeeze the trigger, the Cronus sees that the trigger is squeezed, and then it sends this signal to the console of you wiggling your finger super fast, firing fast as hell. Anti-recoil works by moving the thumbstick, either up or down, depending on if you play with an inverted Y or not, to, uh, to the perfect position to eliminate the in-game recoil. So as you know, if your gun is moving up, you have to move your thumbstick down so that your, your gun stays level. So... Let's just say this first circle here, this is our actual thumbstick. This is the zero point. Let me grab another pen. Now this black circle that I'm drawing on the outside here, that's your full range of motion. So this is your thumbstick sitting still, and when you move the thumbstick all the way over here to where your stick position is kind of like so, you know, the middle of your thumbstick, you go back. I play inverted, so this moves my axis down. So what you do is you get from zero all the way to 100, and these are your anti-recoil values. So when you play with mouse and keyboard, we use a maximum in-game sensitivity, full blast all the way maxed out every single time. So with a maximum sensitivity, obviously moving your thumbstick like this, moving it much less moves it much faster in game. Therefore, we will have lower anti-recoil values. If you're playing with mouse and keyboard, and you're using the same gun with the same attachments as somebody else, your anti-recoils will match up one to one. If you're playing with controller and you're using different in-game sensitivities and stuff like that, your anti-recoil values will not work. So if you shoot and your gun is moving up, it still has recoil. You need to take recoil away, hence the term anti-recoil. So if you say you use an anti-recoil value of 20, that is 20% from 0 to 100, so that would move your thumbstick to 20. If 20 does not make your gun move down, or does not make it stay flat rather, if it's still moving up, you need to use a bigger number, so say something like 35. And then what that does is it brings this up slightly to 35%. So then now every single time you squeeze the right trigger and your gun fires, the Cronus signal tells your console or your PC that you've moved your thumbstick this far depending on the number that you've set. If you add too much anti-recoil, you move your thumbstick too far and your gun actually starts pointing down towards the floor. So if you're using a lower sensitivity and you give your anti-recoil settings to, say, a mouse user, your numbers that you use are just going to make their gun point to the floor because they have a higher in-game sensitivity and the higher in-game sensitivity makes the thumbstick move more or less in-game. So the lower your, your in-game sensitivity is, the higher your anti-recoil values will be, and the higher your in-game sensitivity the lower your anti-recoil values will be. All you have to do to set it is go into the game, shoot your gun. If it moves up, use the, uh, the quick toggles to make it go down some. Just fire it, adjust it. Whenever it stays straight, you're good. Horizontal recoil is exactly the same, except only it goes from left to right instead of up and down. Because as you know, in some games, if you're... Your crosshair starts here. Whenever you start shooting, the gun doesn't always just go straight up. Sometimes it goes up and kind of off to the side like so. So you add a little bit of horizontal recoil. If your gun goes off to the left, you add horizontal recoil to pull it back to the right. So essentially what you're doing is every single time you play, say here's your, your thumbstick where you hold your hand. And then that's the outside threshold. You know, your thumbstick slammed all the way over as far as you can move it. What it does is instead of moving it straight up and down, it'll move it over here to like a diagonal position and hold it. That way whenever you shoot, 
your crosshair stays perfectly centered with where you have it. A lot of people ask, oh, is there just one value I can use and use that on all my guns? Yes and no. No, because it will not work perfectly on all your guns because every single gun has a different amount of recoil. What I would recommend doing is figuring out which guns you play with the most. Like I know in games like PUBG, uh, Warzone, stuff like that, you just kind of run around and you scavenge stuff off the floor as you find it. Dialing in your anti-recoil only takes a couple seconds. Granted, shooting at the wall could give away your position and all that other jazz. But uh, what you do is you have a, like a notepad or your phone. Your phone has a notepad built in. Use it your, your dang computer. Something. Just don't be a dumbass. Find the gun that you have that you have the absolute lowest recoil value. So say you have a pistol and it needs a recoil value of 25. Now you know you have an assault rifle that has more recoil that to hold this one perfect you need a recoil value of 45. So now if you have the anti-recoil set to 45 for your uh, for your assault rifle if you switch to the pistol you have too much and like what I was saying earlier it's going to bring your gun down. So what you want to do is figure out the mid-range between 25 and 45 and find a happy medium. When you shoot your pistol, your pistol will come down a little bit. And when you shoot your assault rifle, your assault rifle will have less recoil. So you kind of try to find a happy medium. If you use the official game packs, there's some of the, uh, the scripts that people have made that are put out. You can actually set a primary and a secondary weapon anti-recoil value. So that when the Zen sees that you press the button that you've assigned to change guns, it changes your anti-recoil value for you as well. I really hope that this helped clear up some of the stuff with the anti-recoil mod. I hope this has helped you guys. And I hope you all start having fun. So yeah, take it easy.